Hey everybody, we're here for another Jaws Junior adventure. Today, we're someplace different. I'm just going to pan around before I explain to you what it is. Trying to figure out what it is, what, where I'm at. That is part of a thunder egg. We are at a thunder egg dig site in southern Oregon. And it is pretty incredible. We found a lot of surface finds already of people who uh, rejected some. And we're just going to find a hole here and start digging. Next here I'm going to show you though is part of the road leading up to the area. So you'll see some of the ride up here, what, what it looks like and things like that. I can tell you one thing. If you don't have a four-wheel drive with some ground clearance, you're not going to make it. That's all there is to it. Unless you're somebody who I happen to know who, happened, who I know that happened to drive his little Honda Accord up here. But I would not recommend doing that. We'll talk about that other person here later. But uh, yeah, don't be driving a Honda Accord up here. We came up here in the Tahoe and it did just fine. There's one, the last very last piece of it was a little dicey. And I think everybody will be walking down out of here while I drive it down. So uh, sit back, enjoy the ride up here. And I'll show you more as we find more. So sit back and enjoy, <laughs> enjoy the scenery. Talk to you later.
So, we are here digging. And this is what I found. See that hole right here? That's what came out of it. So, and they said that, well, what I heard is that there were small thunder eggs in this area. Well, I would say they're a little bit bigger than just small. I mean, there's some small ones here. And there's another decent sized one I just dug out of the hole with some other small ones that Mrs. Jaws Jr. found. And these are top surface finds that we're keeping. <clears throat> so, here we are. Digging to our heart's content. It's a, the day is a success anyway. We found some. So, it's a success. I'm happy with it. Now we'll just keep finding more. I mean, Mrs. Jaws Jr. always wants more, more, more. No comment from her. She's over here, but I can't put her on camera. She won't let me. She won't let you guys see her. Okay, everybody, back in here. Here's another one. Still in the ground. It's a little loose. So, I'm going to try to pop you guys up. So you can watch it coming out. Don't know if this is a one or not. Top of it looks that way. Well, it is one. It's not as nice as the other one. It came out broken. So it's been broken for years. Some people might throw it away, but since I spent the effort digging it out, it's going home. It's going to go up here with the others. <clears throat> so you saw one coming out of the ground. So hang tight, maybe we'll find some more for you. Hey everyone, we are back after a long day. We did very well at the Thunder Egg uh, place, Thunder Egg Dig. That was kind of a hairy drive out of there too, especially coming down. It looked a lot steeper in person than it did on video. But hey, the Tahoe worked. We did perform the way it was supposed to. So what did we get? A lot of thunder eggs. We got almost two five gallon buckets full. Now yeah some of these are larger items that the Mrs. Jaws Jr. liked and she thought was pretty so we included it in there. And a lot of them were actual finds that we dug the hole ourselves and we pulled them out of the ground as you just saw with that one. And there's some other real nice ones in there too that we find. All sizes. I, everything from, oops sorry, Pulp hand size down just a marble size. We we since this is such a rare trip for us, we thought we'd do it all. So kind of here's a sample of what we got. And 
And like I said, that's a big one. And there's just some smaller ones. We've got some ones a lot smaller than that too. But yeah, that was our day. Now, I have no problem in telling you where we found these. But, you know, I would really like it if somebody really wants to know where they're at. Pardon me, I've got some equipment going on behind me here on the main road. Bad timing, as, as, as usual. But that's okay. <laughs> this is YouTube. This is nothing professional. But as I was saying, I have no problem in giving people information on how to get there. I would like you to email me. Uh, I'll put the link below. It's onejawsjr at gmail.com. And, and I'll put, also put the link below. Because I want to let you know myself that how treacherous it is to get up there. Um, we have an adequate four-wheel drive. It will perform flawlessly, just like it should. Um, but if you don't, don't go up there. Flat out, just don't. But if you if you really want to know where it's at, email me. I'll let you know where it's at. I'll give you exact GPS coordinates so you can sit there and look at it on Google Maps and zoom right in on the spot that we were digging at. Or at least give it an attempt. It might be off a few feet, but what the heck. And um, so just let me know if you really want to go there. Now, mind you, I'm taking this video at the end of September. As I sit right now, I believe I'm sitting close to 58 no, no, it's not 58. I'm at 5,400 feet in elevation. Where we were at is probably roughly 7,000 feet in elevation. So after the 1st of October, there's going to be snow up there. Whenever any precipitation happens over here, it will be snow over there. As you saw from my last video, you knew there was snow up there on those Hart Mountains. It's the mountain range that they call, call that. And that was yesterday. But for YouTube World, it was probably a couple weeks ago, the last time I posted that. But for now, um, yeah, I just, I really guys, really guys want you to understand how treacherous that is to be up, to go up there. So if you want to go, no problem, email me, and I'll give you the coordinates. So for now, everybody, we're going to call it a day. We're going to have a good time with this. Got some people coming over here to the campsite for the trailer. Uh, we're going to have some good barbecue burgers and beans and chips and some adult beverages. And just enjoy life. So, yeah, for now, this, I'm going to wrap this one up. Who knows what's going to happen next? That's why you guys are going to stay tuned and subscribe. So, for now... Life is an adventure. Then there's mine. This is the adventures of Jaws Jr. See ya!